Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought cheap and sold for decent profits. Most of these items sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I'm a reseller. It's my full-time job. I love it. Um, I buy things at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, um, Facebook Marketplace, you name it. I just love sourcing. If you love sourcing, put some sort of emoji down in the comments that makes me think of sourcing. I don't know, a shopping cart. I don't know, something. I guess you don't have shopping carts at garage sales, right? All right, you guys, we're going to get started here with some bread and butter bolos. If you're new here, a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. My channel is based around be on the lookout items, items that you can source to resell. All right, let's get started. The first item I sold is this, The Story of Christmas. You guys, this is a little teeny mini book. I got this at a thrift store for 10 cents. It's from 1965. It sold super fast for $30 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $38.16. The next item is this vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale. Um, this is one of the items that my friend Chosen Goods reseller did not claim. She loves Raggedy Ann. And I was at this garage sale and I messaged her and I'm like, girl, this place is full of Raggedy Ann. And um, I sent her pictures and she told me everything she wanted. Everything was half off that day. So I gave her a total and she's like, yep, I want it. So I shipped it all to her and she has an unboxing of everything that I sent her over on that, um, on her channel, Chosen Goods Reseller. Definitely check it out. Um, so much Raggedy Ann stuff and super, super cool. So um, yeah, check that out. I paid $5 for this. They're like little plush dolls from the 1990s. And I sold this for $36 and the buyer was all in for $45.30. And I put that it was used. I think it was new old stock, but um, the box had been opened. So I just went ahead and said used just to be safe. The next item I sold is this Waxing Poetic. Um, it's WP. This is what it looks like on the back. This is marked 925. And I picked this up in a mystery uh, dibble box. No, wait, I'm sorry. I saw this one. This was on a selling event. And I actually bid on this auction. Um, Donatella Bottolino's channel, it was a dibble box. So it was basically a reseller box with a mixed bunch of just reseller stuff. And if you want to check out that unboxing, I did an unboxing on my channel. You can check that out, see all the goodies I got. But uh, Donna Bottolino and auctions for you are linked down below. If you're looking for inventory, it's a great place to source. I ended up selling this one item for $13.00. And the buyer was all in for $18.41. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle. I got this at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents, and I took a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $27.90. And this was missing the ball. And it lights up. And I didn't test it. So it was untested also. And I use Google Lens to find out which ones these are, you would be surprised how good Google Lens works on Lego Bionicles. The next item is this mini Easter Bunny figure by Susie. And I recently just sold a nativity ornament by Susie. So um, let me see if I can find the marking here for you. There it is. See, it says Susie. I don't know. But this sold pretty quick for $7.50. Best offer. The buyer was all in for $13.36. And I paid a quarter for this at a thrift store. The next item came from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for them. They are just rhinestone, rhinestone stud pierced earrings. Uh, they were signed Roman on the backs and on the earring. And I sold these for $14. The buyer was all in for $19.77. These are vintage and signed. So that's why I picked them up. The next item I sold is this vintage Big Feats Wishbone Jack Russell dog. This sold super fast. I got it at an estate sale for 50 cents, sold it, best offer, $32. Buyer was all in for 41 dollars 
Um, I actually did a live listing where I just go on and I go live on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. There's a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, but I do live listings. So I just list and I show you guys how I list. And this is one of the items that I listed on one of those videos. Um, but you guys are able to be in the chat and ask questions if you have questions. The next item is this Doc McStuffins All-in-One Nursery. It's a replacement mobile. I got this off Facebook Marketplace. I do have a video that talks about this and how I, I was going to donate it. And then I decided to part it out, which ended up paying off big time. I sold this one piece for $10. The buyer was all in for $16.99. Um, it was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I got a huge bag, trash bag. And I'm talking like the, the contractor bags full for $20. It was a mystery. It was somebody that I had purchased from before. And like I said, there's a video on that on my channel. The next item also came from that lot. This sold for $10.80. The buyer was all in for $17.06. Um, so those two items pretty much paid for everything. And this bag was stuffed. Um, I'm guessing my cost of goods was like a quarter, 50 cents, maybe when it was all said and done. I should have divided it out and actually figured it out per listing. This is a poopsie. Poopsie, poopsie, sparkly critter toy figure. I used Google Lens to look this up. Never seen one of these. I, I think they poopsie. Kind of weird, right? Uh, anyway, I got this at a thrift store for ten cents. Um, it was in a bulk lot, uh, like a baggie full of toys, and it was about ten cents. Sold this for twelve dollars and ninety six cents plus shipping. The next item was purchased by Chosen Goods reseller. I mentioned her earlier. That is Carissa. Um, she's become a really good friend of mine and she sometimes will buy random things from me. And she's like, I was watching your video and I saw that cute little lobster and she bought it. So um, this is the second one I've sold. I have one more left and it comes on like a postcard. I don't even remember where I got this. I've had it listed for a long time, but um, the little lobster is super, super cute. Uh, she bought this for $10.07. She was all in for $17.34. If you're not following Chosen Goods Reseller, you guys, please go follow her. She is amazing. Um, she's got an awesome reseller channel. She interviews people once a week, um, other resellers, and it's super educational, and uh, you get to meet a lot of different people. So check her out. The next item is this Vintage Dream Pets um, Kitty Cat. It's a stuffed animal. It does have some writing on it, but it has the original tag, but it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I paid $2.50 for it, which is a little bit more than I typically pay for things like this. This is usually like a dollar item for me, but it looked pretty old, so I took a chance. I ended up taking a best offer of $17, and the buyer was all in for $23.92. The next item is this Shopkins lot. I got this at a thrift store. It was in a baggie of toys. I parted this out. So I probably got about a quarter in it. Sold this for $7.20. The buyer was all in for $12.79. The next item is this vintage 1982 spinning musical ornament. It's kind of like a music box. Super cute. Um, I got this at the Goodwill for, it says 10 cents, which is crazy. Um, it may have been like a lot of ornaments or something like that. Sold it for $10.79. The buyer was all in for $18.35. The next item came from a thrift store. I bought a bunch of like jewelry from this thrift store. This ended up being like a quarter. I, I really didn't think it was going to sell and it actually sold pretty quick for $10.80. The buyer was all in for $20.30. The next item, I just love this. It's a ceramic dinosaur. It's made in Japan. I love anything made in Japan. Um, always pick it up. I'm a sucker for made in Japan. I have a video, a category video on made in Japan items. Definitely go check that out. I sold this for $28.79. The buyer was all in for $35.34, and I got this at a garage sale for $2. The next item also came from that Facebook pickup. It's um, Ella Fun, and it was incomplete in the box, and I was like, it was missing a couple of the nets, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try and part this out, and I parted it out, and it sold so fast, you guys. I uh, sold it for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $22.04. This is a Armatron Tweety Bird watch. I got this. I can't remember I got this. I think I got this at a thrift store for a buck or two. And I sold it for $28.80. The buyer was all in for 
The next item are these boating balls. Um, I have done really well with some of these. I overpaid for these. I ended up paying $7 at a thrift store. The last set I sold for much more. They were bigger and a little more fancy. This set definitely should not have paid $7. Uh, sold it for $15.84. The buyer was all in for $25.56. I did make money, but this is something I would normally pay a buck or two for. I don't know what I was doing that day. The next item is this puffy sticker Alvin and the Chipmunks. It's one single sticker from 1984, you guys. I sold this for $10.08. The buyer was all in for $15.35. I got these at a garage sale. It was a whole bag of stickers. I think I paid $3 for everything. I can't remember. So my cost of goods was probably like pennies for this. But I do have an unboxing video or an unbagging over on my recent... Or on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. It is awesome. I have sold two of the sticker sheets for $45 each. Um, I've sold a bunch of stuff, but uh, definitely a really cool find. The next item is um, a Marvel's Thor costume helmet. I got this in a mystery box. This is not something I would typically source. It was kind of awkward to ship and it had stress marks. So I would not have bought this, but because it was in the mystery box, I just went ahead and listed it. I wanted to give it a try. And it actually sold pretty quick. I sold this for $10.08. The buyer was all in for $28.48. The next item is this Loving Family bathtub. It's like a shower bathtub from 2006. It goes in a dollhouse. And I pick up these dollhouse lots all the time and then I part them out. I sold this for $11.52. The buyer was all in for $21.42. The next item also came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. It's a Tweety Bird like pendant. Um, this sold for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $21.27. This item came out of a mystery box. I could not figure out how to get it together. I don't know if it was broke or if I just couldn't figure it out, but I just disclosed it. And this is a Bolo item, actually, you guys. And it sold really quickly. It sold for $24 and the buyer was all in for $33.72. If it would have been um, put together, and maybe not broken. I don't know if it's broke or not. I think I could have got more. The next item I sold is this Live Pets Mouse Hamster Carrier. It's just the cage and the wheel. And I sold this for $14. The buyer was all in for $23.09. And I picked this up at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents. All right, you guys, that was 25 bread and butter bolo items. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can pick up and find easy. Um, easier to find items, I like to say, and good margins. You know, when you get things really cheap for a dollar or less and you can flip it for $10 up to 35, I think that's pretty good. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite thing to sell? And also leave me an emoji of an owl. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys also, um, I always do this down in the description of the video. There are links to my Facebook group and my Twitter and my Instagram, but most importantly, Facebook, I do, um, posts over on Facebook where you guys can share your big money bolos or your unexpected bolos. So if you have like a really good sale that you want to want to share and you want your item to be featured in a bolo video, um, it's completely private. So nobody knows it's you unless, um, if you're a member, they would. Um, you can sign up to memberships and get perks, but otherwise it's completely private. It's basically just sharing your, uh, Bolo, helping others learn and you get to see your item shared. So definitely go over to Facebook and check that out. Links to all of these things are down in the description. I've got a list perfectly video down there. If you decide you want to try list perfectly, it's a uh, 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo buddies, all one word. That is a cross posting service that helps you get your items cross posted fast. Um, lots of links down there. Again, Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you are posted down below. Um, yeah, all kinds of things. And check out Chosen Goods Reseller. Go check her out. Check out that Raggedy Ann lot. You guys will love it. It's amazing. <laughs> so much Raggedy Ann. She's like, I don't need any more Raggedy Ann ever. Actually, there's a funny story. Um, she waited and waited and waited to open the box. Like, I don't know, three to five months. I'm like, are you ever going to open the box? And there's a story behind it. I think she told it in the video, but I'm, I know she's talked about it on her channel. But anyway, ask her in the comments if she doesn't mention it, why it took her so long to open the box.
All right, you guys, thanks for watching.